Welcome to ENSC 2002 Thermodynamics Lab 1. The equipment for this lab consists of a control box, electrically heated boiler, piping, and a throttling valve. Looking more closely, we see here the calorimeter valve in the open position. This valve allows steam to exit the boiler and expand to atmospheric pressure. Temperature sensor 2 is next to the valve handle. This sensor records the temperature of the steam after it has passed through the throttling valve. The filler valve sits on top of the pipework. As this valve is known to occasionally leak small amounts of steam, never place your hands or any part of your body above the safety glass. Temperature sensor 1 can be seen next to the filler valve. This sensor registers the temperature inside the boiler. Both temperature sensor 1 and temperature sensor 2 are of a type known as platinum resistance thermometers. Below the filler port is a burn-on gauge, which gives an analog reading of the pressure inside the boiler. The gauge pressure reading is a differential between the pressure in the room and the pressure in the boiler. To get absolute pressure, you will have to add back in atmospheric pressure. Behind the warden gauge is a pressure sensor, which supplies a digital reading of the gauge pressure to the control box. The boiler plate indicates that a pressure relief valve will open automatically if boiler pressure ever exceeds 8 bar gauge. The control box has a main power on-off switch, there is also a secondary switch which controls power input to the boiler. Turn it off and the temperature and pressure in the boiler will fall. The display control knob switches the display between temperature sensors 1, temperature sensor 2, and the pressure sensor. The temperatures are displayed in ohms and the pressure in kPa. The heater control knob controls how much electrical power is dissipated in the boiler. Turning the knob clockwise results in more power being sent to the boiler and the temperature and pressure will rise. Similarly, turning the knob counterclockwise results in the temperature and pressure in the boiler slowly falling. Thank you for watching and please remember to also watch the procedure demonstration video.